welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie, and today we are going to do a stamp. Stamp card, I guess. Um, when I started, I have no... I had no idea what I was doing, and this is a voice oval, so if you don't like a voice oval, I'm sorry. Somehow or another, I'm having issues with my sound, so I am having to play with it and uh, record it, do the voice on my phone, and then transfer it to uh, the uh, computer. So, y'all just bear with us, and it is an hour long video I am just going through some of the stamps that I picked out for this I used um, all kinds of different brands of stamps I used RC I used uh, some that I got off of wish um, I had some Dollar Tree stamps out I just picked out a few stamps that I thought might all kind of go to give them and was working with that and uh, this is a card from top to bottom using white cardstock. I am not using no colored cardstock at all. So it's an inky mess. Um, I don't use gloves for the most part because I just don't like gloves. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't like gloves. Um, I use, now if I'm, if I got, if I go have my nails done and I have, um, fake nails on, I will put gloves on then. But other than that, it's just fingers and skin. It washes. Usually, most of it comes off when you shampoo your hair. But anyways, we're going on. I am using my Creative, um, Memories, um, Paper Trimmer. And I do like this little sucker. Although, um, if you're doing four and a quarter or five and a half, it just goes to four inches. So you kind of have to know how much you're taking off your cardstock. You've got to know how what size that cardstock is to begin with. Um, but I've know I figured out if you go over to where it says one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, that's a quarter inch. So that's my four and a quarter. And then my five and a half, I just take a half an inch off and I usually have it. I mean, that's how I have figured it out. But everybody does, you know, is different. So do what's best for you. And some people don't like the little ones. I like it because it don't take up much room. And um, for the ones, if you don't know, I use an old secretary metal secretary desk as my craft for my crafting they sturdy they don't move and they just you you can beat it up but I am using um doll, and I buy this I buy, you can get them at um, Dollar General they are a uh, crafters closet envelope cards and envelopes and I'm wanting to say you can get a set of 10 envelope you get 10 envelopes and 10 cards for like a buck pretty I mean they are reasonable um they pretty good um thick card um base of card stock so that with that being said pretty good buy I mean a dime um card set and the envelope's usually more than that at um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere else okay I am taking 52001 mark my note um stamp set and I don't know for this I don't even know who makes this I'm gonna I will try to link it if I find it I will put it down in um I will put it on my blog and my blog is Angie's, uh, Angie's Creative Studio at blogspot.com or something like that. It's on blogspot. It's Angie's Creative Studio is all I can tell you. 
the address I'm not for sure off the top of my head but I am using the biggest image and I am using um, close to cocoa stamping up ink and um you i mean it's a pretty good size. i mean it's as big as my hand nearly i mean it filled the card up nearly and then i'm going in with a small uh for uh stamp and i'm going to stamp off of the edge of my card and all with a uh, in the island indigo there is also a Stampin' Up. Um, I like the Stampin' Up ink pads. Um, I can do a lot with a Stampin' Up ink pad. And I have colors and colors of ink pads. And um, I just went with a smaller block because the stamp is small. And... Um, I'm reaching across the desk I'm putting stuff up as I go and that was a no-no because now I'm having to go back and try to figure out what I've used and what I haven't used and all that fun stuff hmm. Okay, now we're going to stamp, finally, after I cleaned up my desk. <laughs> and I use a glass mat. If you don't know, I use a, it's a glass cutting mat that I buy at, um, I bought at Walmart in the kitchen section. Or home goods or whatever you want however you call it and I just cover it with contact paper or um, right now I've got white vinyl on it from Dollar Tree I was seeing how well that works and it seems to be sticking pretty good and it's working pretty good for me and it's pretty easy to clean because it's got a shiny finish to it and I just wipe the ink off or glue off or whatever I'm paint, whatever I'm using with a baby wipe or Crocs bleach um, wipe. And yes, TTN and Daisy May and Jesse James is all out in the studio, my little uh, studio assistants. We are expecting puppies in about two weeks, two to three weeks. I can't remember. From Tootsie and Jesse. So if y'all need a little Martise puppy, let us know. And I'll try to hook you up. As you can see in the pictures, Daisy has grown a little. Tootsie and Jesse is about the same size. I've got, I just took a new picture of them out here in the craft room in front of my ink display and I'll, I'm going to use, start using it, but I just didn't, didn't have it ready then when I started videotaping this. And um, I like to create my own backgrounds because you can use the colors you want. You don't have to have somebody else choosing the colors you want they want you to use more or less and uh, I am going in with uh, uh, certainly salary uh, stamping up pad and I'm, I'm inking the whole thing and um, it's kind of a dried up one. It's an old. It's an old one. I bought it used somewhere. Um, I think I bought it off of Facebook Market. And you know, you can buy a lot of good craft supplies off of uh, Facebook Market if you want. You know, if that's what you. 
I mean, I don't care. Because if it saves me a little bit of money, I'm going to save it. And we'll just go in with stamping. Oh, with a cotton ball. And I use a cotton ball. A lot of people use this the um, blending tools. Use what you've got. Use what you are comfortable with. Uh, I can do about anything I want with a cotton ball. Some people can, some people can't. I mean, it's just the way you hold it and how you press. The whole, you know, it's... To me, it's not difficult because I've done it for so many years, but uh, to a lot of people it is. So use what you are comfortable with. And if nothing else, if you are not in a creative mood but you want to play or create, just get a piece of paper and a cotton ball or your blending tools and just play. Just take a day and play. It's just paper and ink, folks. It's all replaceable at any given time. Um, that's my solution to a lot of lots of stuff. It's just paper and ink. Hash. Now I think hash tootsie. Tootsie. No ma'am. No ma'am. Yeah, I know you got a little attitude with mama. Okay, we are going to take a music note stamp and I got that off of Wish or Amazon. If I got it off of Amazon I'll link it below but I'm I don't remember. And I am using Bravo Bargainy for this one. And it is an older ink pad also but it came out beautiful. I love how it came out. Mm. And just stamp it anywhere you want to. I just stamped it right over the fluoresces and whatnot. I got one is snoring and one is growling. Tootie's at the back of my chair, between me and my chair back. And Daisy's sitting in my lap with her head on my desk and snoring. So if y'all hear the dogs, that's what's going on. And Jesse's down in his bed, in their bed, sleeping. Jesse's the good one. of The two females, Daisy and Tootsie, they both have to know what's going on at all times. They nosy. Just like my husband like, says, just like two fem females. So, Okay, now I'm going in with um, Mossy Meadow with another stamp. And it's just got some little writing on it. Um, like I said, I just show you grabbing stamps out of my... Um, out of my stamp set, out of, out of my stamps, and just then odds and ends of each, out of a few, um, and I, w I had no, di I had no directions of how this stamp, this card was coming out, although once I got finished with it, I did like it, 
it was ki- a lot cuter than I expected, considering that I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, usually when I have a, I start on a card, I kind of know what I'm doing. On this one, I did not, my stamp was not sticking to my block for some odd reason. I guess I needed to clean the clingy side of it real good. I've done that since then. And uh, I just stamped two images on it. And one I just kind of took half off of the card and just stamped. And then, of course, I was cleaning up my mess as I was going because and cleaning my stamps because... Otherwise, I forget to clean, and then I get ink all over everything. Then I get upset, so it's just easier for me to clean as I go when I'm inking. And if you've watched any of my vid- card-making videos, you know I love to ink. And I may do a series on inking with Angie <laughs> because I love to use my ink pads. as, And I... It's not like I don't have a lot of colored cardstock because I do. I've got a whole big old desk drawer full of it. I've got a box of it on my desk. I've got a box behind me full of uh, cardstock. So it's not like I don't have any. I do. I really do. I just love the how. I just love to start playing and see how what what my my imagination and my ideas could come up looking like um i am using a mossy meadow again and i am just inking around the sides this time i'm just uh, i'm wanting a dark um green edge around my sides of my card And I went around it two or three times to get it the deep to make it look darker than what I mean. I wanted a certain look, and I was making a mess, <laughs> but it's okay. It cleans up. It's just ink. And yes, I was knocking stuff off my desk just as crazy as it all get out. Hush. Okay, I am taking a flur a uh, rose. I think that's a rose. It may be a carnation, but I think it's a rose. I do not know my flannels, except if it's really distinct. This one, I don't really know. I don't know where this uh, stamp set came from. I've had it for, oh goodness, probably 15, 6, 20, 15, 18 years. I've had it a while. And I've, I've used this a million times. And it's still one of my favorite stamps I own. Um, and do you know that you can get it off of uh, the, the web and download it to, as a digital image and print it out and color it. I am just using a piece of um, stra- uh, scrap white card stock and I've got a tub, um, little tub started uh, beside me. And I'll just pick it up and get what I need out of it. Or if I'm using, or I put a paper in it all the time You, if I'm using paper. And uh, I am using um, Jet Black. I think it's Jet Black. Stays on ink. Yeah. And um, I am picking out my corners. And I'm on the... Um, the rows I used 32, 31 and 44 maybe of the Altaida 
And then on the other one, I used 46 and 55. Now I'm going to write that down while I can write it in the blog. I say I am. I don't even have a piece of paper handy. Okay. 31 and 45 and 46 and 55. And I just kind of um, did it on the edge or the back, the end of my paper to kind of figure out what I wanted, how I wanted to do it. And right here, I am going to speed it up and well, y'all don't have to sit here and watch me call for half a day. Okay, and uh, we are just going through here and coloring and uh, using the yellows. Um, I went in with the darker yellow, the um, 31, where it showed the little black images. And then I went back in with the uh, 44 and then um, the lilo yellow. And... I was discussing the Arkansas weather. I am over. I'm ready for spring. I am just ready for spring, folks. Uh, we've had a, we got a sleep the other night, and uh, everything's. We've been iced in for two th about two days now. My husband did get out today, and I haven't been off for the front porch since Tuesday. I don't plan on getting out today or tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Our ground's still pretty white. The road seems to be fine, though, so that's a good thing. But I am over this. I'm over winter. I mean, I like it cool, but I'm, this is just ridiculous. This is crazy this year. But anyways, I am calling, and like I said, I did speed this up where it wasn't going to take as long because this video wasn't real long by the time I got done with it. And with doing the force over, I don't remember all everything I was talking about. And it, I'm just, it just aggravated me because I had to do a force over. And if you are still with me, thank you. I want to thank Thank all my new subscribers, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing. And don't forget to um, hit the notification bells where you'll know when I load up new videos, although I do it when I feel good, and I don't do this as a job. I don't. I do this for fun, and that's all I do it for, because I love show. I love teaching. Well, I don't love teaching. I love showing you what you can do with the supplies you have. And I, I have a lot of supplies, but I don't have a lot of supplies. I don't have a, near as much as a lot of these YouTubers has, I can tell you. But I have a, I, I have a room for. But mine is different. I mean, I've got scrapbooking, card making, painting, sewing, jewelry making, you know, anything that I enjoy doing, it's in my craft room. And this came out better than I thought it would. I'm not one to use yellow, if y'all know me. Mostly when I'm coloring like that, I'm just not, I, I just don't use yellow a lot. I don't know why, but I'm going in with the my greens, my 46 and my 55. And I did the um, 55 on the, already the black and the little black dots that was on the image. And, uh, did the um, 46 on the rest of it. And it blended very good.
and I'm just finishing up and getting it done. Okay, now I'm going, I'm coming back in with the paper trimmer and trimming this down and I am using the light blue guide as my guide to cut. Um, I'm cutting pretty close to the image, but I'm not cutting the image, but I'm coming pretty close in. And that's one, I think, one of the main reasons I like this little trimmer is because you can cut it so close to the image and not have a bunch of white showing what the other ones you kind of have to, you can't get it as close, seems like. And I tried this. And I'm like, nope. And I took the Early Espresso and my cotton ball again. And went around the edges. And I'm just going around the edges to get give it, and I'm I kind of got it on some of the white, but like I said, I don't have a big a lot of trim on that. And then we're going to try to stick it back on the card, and I'm it's not going to it's still kind of to me it just kind of all blended in. So I took another sheet of white, as you can see, and I just made me, um, and that made it just about a quarter, maybe an eighth of an inch trim around it. Just enough to give it a different color up in the background and all. And then we took, let me see, Apricot Apparel. And it is a Stampin' Up! pad also, but it's an old one. But I love the color of it. I, I found out today. And I inked it up pretty good. <laughs> like I said, I've got all colors of it. I mean, every color you can imagine in color cardstock. I just don't use it. I just, I don't know why I even buy it anymore. Because I'm going to wind up using ink pads. I guess I'm lazy to look for the exact color I want. And it's just easier to grab an ink pad and make my colors. I don't know what the deal is. And that's what I was explaining here. It was that I was, that's just who I am. I like doing the inking and making a mess and I was telling you it's a apricot apparel 
<laughs> and I just took a cotton ball to begin with. Didn't like that, so I went back in and done some more. And this is, I guess, why I like it so well because you, if you need, if you want it light, you or dark or whatever color you want, you can get it the color you want it. May take you a little while, but you can do it. I promise you. And this time, I just finally just turned the ink pad upside down and showed it rubbing it onto the white cardstock and making it as dark as I wanted it. And I made it, I mean it looks kind of dark on camera but it wasn't really that dark in life. Oh. And then I, I just used my art glitter glue on it to give it to glue it on. And then I still thought it looked flat, so I brought out the foam Squares and I buy these at Dollar Tree at in the hardware section of the Dollar Tree. Well, it used to be a row for a buck. Now it's dollar twenty-five. I I guess I'm not sure. I mean, some Dollar Trees has got stuff up to five bucks. I've noticed lately. Hmm. And I'm just pulling the backs off of the foam squares. And just uh, position it where you want it. I p did it a little bit lower than normal. But uh, there was a piece of a stamp that I wanted to show through. And then we go in to get out the cuddle bug and cut a die. And y'all, it's been a while since I've done any cutting on the cuddle bug. I usually use the Cricut or the Scanning Cut or the Cameo to do my cutting because it's just easier to slow a piece of paper on the mat and skin it, send it through. But anyways, so I had some issues with my cuddle bug. 
Well, it wasn't issues with the cuddlebug. It was issues with me using the cuddlebug because I ha it's been oh lands. I cannot even tell you how long it's been since I used my cuddlebug. But it was kind of hilarious because I was like, uh, and here I am on camera, and I don't remember how to sandwich this thing together. And my my cuddlebugs. 20 years old. There was something on it, so I had to clean it. And then dig the plates out. No, like I said, I had... I did not have an idea of how this was coming out. And I just got a piece of white scrap out of the scrap box. When it gets full, I dump it or cut, use it for um, punches or whatever. And this is me trying to figure all this out. I use the magnetic, I use the white plate, whichever one it is, and magnetic, and I took it in with the C, or the thick, clear one. That was not it. Come find that you have to have the bees. But anyways, like I said, it... I know, I used to know it by the back of my hand. I mean, I didn't have no issues using it, but it's been so long since I've used it. You forget. I ain't done a card. I haven't made a card in a while. Uh, j just a regular greeting card in a good long while, so. Anyways, so. But it was fun. I, I enjoyed doing it. And Daisy says she had fun watching Mama. Yeah. Daisy says hi. You want to say hi? Tootie says hi. Jesse says a sleepy hi. He looks like he's been he's been he was in a deep sleep. And like I said, I was trying to figure this out, and y'all, I'm sorry it took so long to figure it out, but it's what life is. My husband keeps on saying, you've got to start showing your mistakes. Yeah, right. But, y'all, everything I do does not come out like it should. I promise you, it don't. And I probably should have cut more than one, but it all, I mean, the stamping came out really good. And I was, I was pleased with it. <laughs> Because, like I said, and it's been a while since I've even stamped, so I just did not know. But I use the AliExpress, so to stamp, thinking of you on it. And yes, if you must know, I'm holding my Daisy May and Tootsie's in my chair with me still. They'd sit here all day in my lap, both of them, all three of them wouldn't actually. And I'm just positioning it onto the, uh, the die cut thingy we cut out. Okay, I took the apricot apparel, apparel again and went around the edges of this 
and I just used the um, ink pad to do this. And like I said, this is an old set. I don't even have a re inkle for it. Now I don't know what's going to happen when I run out of ink on it. Because I have found out I really like this color today. And I lost signal to the camera for a few minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's life. I mean, I'm showing showing it all today. Okay, I'm taking my ATG gun, and I like, I, I love my ATG gun, but I, I like my, I love my little glue too. So I use both. Um, I am fixing to put down um, G, uh, the natural jeep cord. Um, this is from Crafter Square. You get pretty good. 2.8 ounces. I don't know how much that is, really, but it will last me a while. <laughs> and I just wrapped it around the cord three times at the bottom, underneath the flower one, and it's matte. And then I took the foam squares again, and I used two, well, I actually used four, but I put two on, one on top of another one, and then kind of moved the cord, cord around and put, put one set between it and one on the, uh, the other, at the bottom of the, um, uh, center mitt. Okay, we are fixing to glue it onto the card base, and like I said, I used the um, Crafter, on this one, I used Crafter's Closet from um, Dollar General. And I wouldn't say they dollar, dollar and a half for um, ten. I, I wouldn't say they a dollar, but don't quote me on that, because I don't know for a fact. Okay, I'm just holding it down to make sure it glued on and everything got smoothed out. And we lost signal again. And the kitty cat's upside down. And we're back! Yay! I don't know what's going on with my computer and my phone. And I'm just having all kinds of issues with this. And I'm going through, I decided it needed some bling. 
So I'm going through my bling real quick. And like I said, I had no clue what how I was going to do this card. Or otherwise I'd had everything out. And that's one of the reasons this took so long to do it. Because I was doing it as I was going. And I picked up my quick stick. And I got to figure out how to get some more of that stuff out of it. But anyways, life goes on. I used... Uh, <laughs> I used uh, gemstones from adhesive uh, gemstones. They came in. Um, I used uh, 0 0.16 inch or 4 mm's. Um, they came from Walmart, but I don't know who made them. They it's just this adhesive gemstones. I got them on clearance. I do know that much. Because I bought a whole slew of them. I think I paid a quarter, 10 cents each pack for each package. I didn't pay a whole lot. And um, I'm telling you about my little um, pen on my. If you use our art glitter glue, just always remember to uh, plug it back up. And. Uh, because otherwise it dries out very quick and this one i've had it a couple years now this bottle and you can tell it because it's filthy it's got glue on it it's been through everything uh you cannot get uh art glitter glue cold so they i mean right now i would not even advise you to buy it except because it is so hard to ship. Only time I buy it is in, in the summertime. Okay, now we're getting the envelope. And like I said, the um, craft, crafter's closet uh, comes with the envelope. So you get 10 envelopes and 10 card bases. They add twos. And I decided to take the Mosey Meadow and a cotton ball and ink around the edges of my card. I mean, why not? You know. <laughs> And that's all I'm doing is just inking around my card and getting it, trying to finish it up. And then I done the back and I done the flap and all. And I even did the seams in the back. I was just kind of showing out and just like, hmm, wonder what this look would look like. So, and you can send it through the mail like this because I have a million times. <laughs> Hush. Tootie saying hello, folks. Be quiet. Matter of fact, I think... No, I didn't ink that at all. But you can ink all of the back. You can ink all the front as long as you don't use a real dark, you know, a dark, you know, dark, dark corner. As long as you can write on it, it's fine. And they can see who, who you're sending it to. <sighs> and I want to thank you for joining Angie's and those are card. Didn't come out cute. I love it. And I want to thank you for joining us. And come back uh, when we get another video up. Uh, if you like uh, making these cards and doing the white background. Starts out with just using all white. Give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. And leave us a comment. Have a blessed day. Bye. Ugh. <sighs>